Hey guys, welcome back to another week of the Hawk Hit News, and welcome back to my homecoming date for the third year in a row, Alyssa Goforth. I'm excited to have you back and by my side. Thanks, Rossi. I had a great time at State, but I'm super happy to be back in the studio. Before we hop into episode 15 of the news, let's say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wow, we have a jam-packed show today covering everything from your club meetings to spirit days. Well, stop wasting time then, man, and get to it. All right, well, on that note, homecoming week is upon us. You guys should all be dressed up in your tundra gear today because today is Tundra Tuesday. Tomorrow is Taurus Day, Thursday is Out of This World Day, and then Friday is obviously Parade Day, so make sure to dress up with your cl clusters float. Thanks, Ross. You know I'm going all out for Taurus Day. Speaking of homecoming, in today's segment of Battle of the Sexes, we put Aislinn and Chico to the ultimate homecoming test, testing their HHS homecoming knowledge. Let's see which gender did the best in today's Battle of the Sexes. Hello, Hawks. I'm Miranda, and today we have Chico and Aislinn and Aislinn here for an ep another episode of Battle of the Sexes. So this edition is about homecoming, guys. So let's test your knowledge on homecoming. So Chico, you're up first. How is homecoming determined at our school? Like homecoming king and queen, how are they determined? I have no idea. Well, homecoming king and queen at Hutch is, is, is decided by a dance battle. So now for the girls' question. Um, where is homecoming this year? It is at 200 First Avenue. One point to the girls. Okay, now this is for both of you. Whoever can get this first wins. So, you well, can't look stuff like <laughs> this <laughs> answer's not on here. Okay, so who won the homecoming assembly last year? How about? No, the, which graduating class won the homecoming oh. assembly last year? No. <laughs> Do you guys not know? No. no. Seniors last year won. So all you alumni that graduated last year, you guys won last year. And that's it for this for this episode of All the Sexes. Girls won. Congratulations. Bye, boys. <laughs> As former second place winner of Homecoming King my freshman year, I'm excited for this year's homecoming. But congratulations to my boys for pulling out that win. Ross, the girls just won that battle of the sexes. Mm. Quit trying to give the boys points. Well, if you're sick of homecoming info coming at you, here's some news you need to know. Cookie Day is a fun program to get students excited about the joy of cooking and working together. Every Tuesday and Wednesday during SSP, three students come to Miss Sanders' kitchen and bake cookies, or another sugary treat, that are given out Wednesday during lunch. If you're interested in helping out, sign up in Miss Sanders' kitchen. Don't forget to grab a Cookie Day pass from Miss Sanders. Ingredients and donations are much needed list of helpful ingredients and the donations jar in Miss Sanders kitchen. We look forward to baking with you. Maybe if you're not in the mood for cookies, which I always am, you will be in the mood for a great student opportunity. Don't forget GSA meetings are held every Friday during lunch in Miss Cornell's room. Well, if GSA isn't your thing, but furthering your healthcare career is, then listen up. Senior Health Cluster students, if you're interested in taking the Spring CNA class, applications are available in the counseling office. They are due no later than Friday, November 17th at 2.45 p.m. And before that, on November 14th at 2.30 to 3.30, Hutch in Hutch's gym, Mr. Shannon is hosting Wade's Workout Day. The event is free, but any donations are accepted for the help of other kids with neuroblastoma. Wade, who was an 18-month-old kid, was diagnosed with neuroblastoma after a noble but unsuccessful fight. He passed away, and his family created this event to help other kids. Students, are you interested in a military career? If so, we will be giving the ASVAB test on Friday, November 17th at 7.45. This test lets you see which military jobs are you're qual qualified for. This test is also an excellent career interest inventory test. Scores are not released to the military unless you want them to be. Sign up in counseling. The test takes about 90 minutes. Well, that's how we have in the way of news for all of you today. It sure was fun to have my sidekick back from volleyball.
Yeah, it was so much fun down there in Anchorage. Did you know that the Bartlett team brings a whole bus full of their football players that come down to cheer their team on? Seriously? That sounds cool. Yeah, it was. The guys were really nice. We sat with them for most of the tournament. Wait, you sat with a bunch of guys? Well, you know when you're in a different zip code, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Stay fly, <laughs> Cox. <laughs> Alaska, go north for Russia's own. North to Alaska, go north for Russia's own. Big Sam left Seattle in the year of 92. With George Pratt, his partner, and...